<clears throat> I lost the die roll again. Shit. Oh well. Alright, well, obviously a mulligan. No lands again. I've had a mulligan every match so far. Uh, not gonna mulligan this, even though it's really, really bad still. Leading off with a mountain. But now at least you get to play the Boros Mastiff instead of a Riot Piker on turn two. Well, maybe I do play the Riot Piker. I think I'm going to. It blocks the Skin Brand Goblin. <sighs> and have a Swift Justice backup if I want to just kill something. No attacks from him. That's good. Wasteland Viper is also good. <coughs> so let's get in here. Alright, no box. Good, good, good. Boros Mastiff away. I don't think I'm blocking here. No need. Gari decoy. Well, sir, you're annoying. <coughs> All right, first blade away. Uh, I'll have to use the Swift Justice to save the first blade, but I think it's okay. Five point life swing is sweet. Well, it should be a seven point life swing. Suppose that the Mastiff is going to be more valuable than the first blade here. Yeah. Because the Mastiff can activate lifelink anytime. So all you see, and it also kills the decoy, which can be kind of problematic. <clears throat> I guess the alternative would have been to do it to the first blade and gain five more life than I did. But I think the, the Mastiff is worth keeping up. Uh, I don't think I'm going to Edict here, though. Hmm. I think I'm going to save the Edict for his bomb. And I don't think I'm going to attack with the Mastiff now. Punish, okay. Punish the enemy is not all bad. <coughs> he used his removal spell on my uh, Riot Piker. Ah, oh, Death's Approach. Well, that sucks. Maybe I'll have to Edict this Goblin then. I need to draw another creature though. Splatterthoke's a definite creature that I can draw here. Yeah, we're going to unleash it too. I'll win this race pretty handily if he doesn't draw anything. And here's the thing I'm going to edict. Yeah, the Ruination Worm, definitely worth the edicting. So let's go ahead and do that now.
All right, seems like he's sort of land stalled, which is good news for me. So we're going to interrupt the thug, play a skyjack, pass the turn. Skyjack might actually make him uh, hold back the goblin too, which would be good news. Burning tree emissary, okay. Uh-oh, what's he doing here? Oh, he's scavenging. Okay. Scavenge is not bad. Not all bad, I should say. Do I block here? No, I'm not going to block yet. Ugh. More planes is not what I wanted to see, though. All right. Well, I think next turn I'm going to have to block. And just hope to draw some removal or something. See, so yeah, on hindsight now, I think I probably should have uh, just traded the Mastiff for the Wasteland Viper instead of scavenging. I didn't even think about the fact that he could scavenge his decoy onto something. So I think the trade is in order now. So I'm not attacking my splatter thug into anything. Ah, slaughter horn. Jeez, that's brutal. I think I lose this game now just based on the fact that I'm flooding out like a motherfucker. Uh, spike jester. I guess spike jester will give me a blocker for his slaughter horn. Come on. <clears throat> so he showed me a lot of blood rush tricks here uh, if I draw punish the enemy that doesn't do it I think I'm just gonna block here I don't know what I need to draw to get out of this, but it's got to be something bigger than a 4-4 emissary. Zertos Swine. Uh, Rakdos Clue Stone does not do it for sure. But we'll play it out. Alright, you got it, buddy. Kind of flooded out pretty bad there. I think if I could have gotten that spike gesture out any time sooner, it would have been a lot better for me. <clears throat> but that's okay. Uh, I think I'm going to bring in the electricery. He showed me a few creatures that I could use it on. Um, I think once again, we're probably taking out the Riot Piker. Although it was actually pretty good against him. Nah, he's got a lot of gruel dudes, so Riot Packer's actually probably pretty bad against him. <laughs> uh, so, a bunch of big gruel dudes. What do I do for a bunch of big gruel dudes? Uh, not too much. Nah. Eh. Maybe the electric case isn't that good. Yeah, I'll just probably just leave the deck like it is. Uh, I do want to play first. Well, I got three colors. Uh, Madcap skills, not true fire paladin. This is a pretty sweet hand. Leading off the planes. Um... And actually, I should have let off, let off the mountain in case I drew Spike Jester. Ah, oh, stupid Viper again. 
All right. Well, I didn't draw Spike Jester, so no punishment for me there. True Fire Paladin away. Ooh, a lot with troll. Wow, that's a that's an interesting dude. Let's go ahead and get in there with the true fire. We'll first strike it. Oh, actually, I can't do that, can I? Shit. Well, if I first strike it, if he blocks with the troll, I get to kill the troll. So that's not all bad. Okay, good. He didn't do that. Um, I'm just going to pass turn. <clears throat> No tricks from him. That's good news. All right, so Splatter Thug now is the answer. Well, it is an A answer. I'm going to unleash him, and we'll throw Madcap skills on him because I don't have to use the mana to activate him. Alright, well, the plan sort of changed just now. I'm going to edict this plot with Troll. He's kind of a problem. We'll just get in there with the Splatter Thug. <clears throat> I think the Madcap Skills is coming down next turn along with the Viashino First Blade. Burning Tree Emissary again. God. Alright, Annihilating Fire on my Spider Thug. Okay, good. He uses removal. So what does that mean for me? I think that means I gotta go for the Madcap skills now. And get him. No blocks. Um, well, I'm not going to play the first blade, so I'm just going to pump the, the true fire here. get him for seven he goes down to eight and that puts him in lethal range next turn with punish the enemy all right a gold carry decoy So he's going to have to chump here. I give him first strike and pump him if necessary. I won't have to pump him. So we'll just go in that order. That's fine. We'll give him first strike. Okay. Okay. And play out the Gutter Skulk. <coughs> and pass the turn. A Madcap skills on a true Fire Paladin is just sick. Alright, so what does he have to get himself out of this situation now? What can he possibly have? 
I guess instant speed removal on the true fire. So if I play out the first blade, he just blocks it with the Wasteland Viper. I think I'm just going to attack in here. I'll save the first blade. Yeah, he's got to just have instant speed removal here. Annihilating fire, okay. So I trade a Wasteland Nipper for a Gutter Skulk. Not too bad. Now oh, here's his Ruination Worm now. Oh, Christ. Sylvan Primordial. Well, that's something. Sin Collector, eh? Well, I shall collect your sins. And I reveal a land card, of course. A land is a land, of course, of course. Alright. We're passing the turn, obviously. Interesting that he's coming in here. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm taking it obviously, but it lets me believe that he thinks he's safe. Crazies is not exactly safe for him. Ah, he scavenges, of course. So of course the crazies is safe for him. I don't have enough to do a first blade, so I'm just gonna punish the crazies. I know he still has a forest in his hand, so we'll leave up this. He's leaving me guessing here. All right, he left behind the blocker, so <sighs> tells me a little bit about his hand. I can get in there with the first blade and the sin collector. Do I think my graveyard is going to help me? No, not really. <clears throat> but that just leaves him at one life, and I don't have any plays the following turn. A really like an ideal draw here would be like a spike jester, I think. Ooh, he's got an attack. Alright, I'll take it. That means he's got another creature. Which is unfortunate for me. Ugh, oh, and it's a big ass creature too. That's super unfortunate for me. So a spike jester would be perfect. Swift justice, eh. Eh. Oh, I can, that kills him. Okay, good. Provided he doesn't have any more instant speed removal, which I don't think he does. Hopefully he doesn't anyway. If he does, I'm just dead. Alright. On to game three. That was close. Alright, so big dudes, big dudes. I think the Court Street Denizen might actually be called for here. Oh man, we're going to do all these clan invitations now. Alright, yeah, I'm going to do the Court Street Denizen of the Sin Collector against his deck. Uh, I haven't really seen any significant... Um, instance or sorceries that he has. 
so. A Beck and Apparition might actually be good here, too. Just to get rid of a scavenge things. But that's still just a 1-1. One, one yeah, no. That's not impressive. We're just going to do this. <clears throat> uh, I don't think I'm going to mulligan this. <laughs> it's a... Like a lot of lands, and uh, obviously I'm just gonna draw more lands because you know, fuck me. Why not draw more lands? All right, good that he didn't have a turn two play though. That means the spike jester is gonna get in there for a bit of damage. Got a few options. I can play the true fire out. Oh well. I'm gonna play the true fire out now. Maybe I'll just play out the first blade. Yeah, first blade's worth more damage. If I'm gonna be aggressive, I'm gonna be super fucking aggressive. Death's approach doesn't really halt my progress. I don't think there's any need to madcap skills just yet, so we're not going to. He still has to provide an answer for my dudes. He's not doing anything. Is he just flooded out? Because this is... Not quite lethal, but... I mean, really damn close. I mean, it could have been lethal if I went for it. But I don't think there's any need to go for it just yet. Plus two. Plus two. <laughs> wow. Oh my god, he had two annihilating fires and... All right, well, I win the sealed pool. That's pretty crazy. All right, well, thank you guys for watching and sticking with it and all. Um, this is Chris, once again, recording for Magic Gathering Strat. To watch us on YouTube, I've got the link right here. Um, got lots of videos there. You can follow us on Twitter, Magic Gath Strat, and mtgostrat.com.